Hello, this is a related rates problem from OpenStax Calculus Volume 1. And it's a really common problem that you'll see in a lot of other textbooks. OpenStax is open source. You can go to openstax.org and the book there is free, uh, the electronic copy. All right, this is number 10 from Chapter 4 on Related Rates. A six-foot tall person walks away from a 10-foot tall lamppost at a constant rate of three feet per second. At what rate is the tip of the shadow? The tip, what, what is the rate that the tip of the shadow moves away from the pole when the person is 10 feet away from the pole? So I've drawn a picture of the person and the person's walking away from the pole and the person leaves a shadow. So here's my picture of a shadow there. That's that dark purple. And as he moves away, or she, the shadow moves also. Now the pole is given over here um, as shown as a, as a vertical line. And what we see is we have two right triangles and we'll, we'll use that. All right, so let's write down some of the, the things that are given to us. Well, it's given that we have a 10 foot lamppost, six foot tall person, and the person is moving away from the lamppost at six feet or three feet per second. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to denote as x the distance between the person and the pole. And I'm going to say that dx dt is equal to 3. And what I mean by that is that this length x is changing at a rate of 3 feet per second. Or I'll just write 3. And then we're asking what is the rate that the shadow is moving away from the pole. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to denote the length of the shadow as y. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say that we're trying to find the rate at which x plus y changes. I'm trying to find that rate of change with respect to time. So the tip of the shadow is a, is a length of x plus y away from the base of the pole. And I'm going to try to... Uh, find that when that rate of change when x is equal to 10. So when the person's 10 feet away from the pole. All right. Now, the harder part maybe is using formulas. These two triangles that I see here are similar triangles. Similar triangles mean they have the same shape, but different size. It could be the same size, but in general, they have the same shape. Look, they both have corresponding right angles. They share the same, you know, one the same angle here. And there's another angle here, and those would have to be equal because the sum of the angles in a right triangle is 180 degrees. So those would also have to equal. There are also um, corresponding angles to those uh, two parallel vertical lines there. So we have uh, some more right triangles, and I can then make a ratio of the sides. So in my... My smaller right triangle, which I could draw, but uh, again, but in the smaller right triangle, maybe if I could just highlight it, so I wanna make sure everybody really does see that there's two triangles here. Um, just go over that more boldly, and in a way ruin the picture, but go over that more boldly. Um, we see we have the smaller triangle. Okay, my picture of the man sort of got lost, or the person, man or woman, sort of got lost in that, but here's the person there walking along. Okay. Um, all right, so from that, what we see is that, uh, all right, what we see is that the ratio of one side, y over x, that's the ratio of the of the two sides of the right triangle. Well, that should equal the ratio um, of the sides of the larger triangle. Now, 6 will correspond to 10. Do you see that? So 6 will correspond to 10. What, is, uh, what does Y correspond to? All right, let me pull out another color, see if I make a mess of this. But... See, 
See, here's our bigger triangle I'm highlighting in blue. The more I make with highlights, the more everything gets lost. But anyway, there's another one I just highlight in blue. But 6 corresponds to 10. And what does y correspond to? It corresponds to x plus y. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply. And so I get the 10y equals 6 times x plus y. I'll just distribute 6. And, but I did it wrong. Okay. Okay, now I got it right. And then I'll subtract and I'll get that 4y is equal to 6x. And then just with a little bit of hardly anything more, I get y is 3 halves x. Okay, I'll highlight that like a little in between intermediate answer there that y is equal to 3 halves x. So the, in this picture, the, or in this situation, the ratio between the shadow and um, well, the, the shadow is, is one and a half, three halves times larger than the than the length from the man from the pool. Okay, now let's go ahead and 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 continue on this where I I find ddt of x plus y, but this one is the trick is is I replace x or I replace y by three halves x, so therefore that becomes ddt of 1, which is 2 halves, plus 3 halves, makes 5 halves x. So this is going to give 5 halves times dx dt. Well, dx dt is given. dx dt was given as being 3. So I'm going to use that again. dx dt is 3. I'm going to put that in there. So I get 5 halves times 3, and that makes... 15 halves feet per second. Sorry, I went over the wrong, back to the old problem there by mistake. Um, okay. Okay, it's always nice to fit everything in one page. So, so the, the, the tip of the shadow moves at 15 halves hmm all righty so I need to maybe just change this a little so I can fit this in moves at a rate of 15 over 2 feet per second which you know, for, for, there's a couple of things. One is my final answer after all that work. It's a little bit messy. I don't want. I don't want that. And of course, fifteen halves is seven point five feet per second. Well, why not just write that? I mean, why not? I think it's a little bit easier to understand if I write it seven point five feet per second. I like fractions a lot of times though. Okay, classic calculus problems found in a lot of many different books. This is from Open Source, the Open Source book, OpenStax Calculus Volume 1. And um, that's found by going to openstax.org. It's free. So it's meaning that it's we can use it. We, we don't sell it. We don't make money off of it. But we can post videos on YouTube without working, worrying about copyright problems. All right, so that's finished the book. All right, everybody take care.